Hey guys, so for a little subscriber member exclusive, I've added a little Christmas Santa hat that y'all have permission to use and add to any of my designs. So you can either print it out like this, it has a flat bottom option to where you could just print it out and glue it onto anything you want, or I'm gonna show you here how you can actually integrate it into a bunch of my different designs so that you can print it all in one piece. And you can add little Santa hats to literally anything that I have done and print it out and they're gonna be super cute. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So let's start with this little eggy guy. And let's use the example that you have a multicolor, you know, files like this that I provide, but if not, you can do the exact same thing with just the STL file. So you're gonna go up here to add, add the Santa hat. If it's a multicolor file, you're gonna do import geometry only. Okay, here are my little Santa hats. And you can see one is flattened on the bottom, so you can just print it separately if you want. This one I prefer if I'm gonna integrate it into the models like I'm about to do now. So I'm just gonna grab this guy. We're gonna duplicate it so that we can use it again with our other guys. So I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna hold my control key on my computer and I'm also going to select the eggy guy. And then I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to do merge. So now these two guys are together. You can see ooh, over here, they're under one assembly. So now I want to get my Santa hat actually in place. So I'm gonna go over here to the side, click on just the Santa hat, and then go up to my move tools up here. Zoop, zoop. Move him into place wherever you want. And then, you know, might rotate him a little bit just so that he sits exactly how you want. Make sure when you're placing it that he's actually overlapping into the model under that. So that way you won't need any supports, anything like that. And if you want to, you can make it a little bit bigger. You know, go this way or even stretch it just one direction if you need to place him like that. And then he has, look at, he has a little adorable Santa hat. And let's raise it up a little bit so that his little eyebrows are kind of poking through. Look at that, look at how cute. And then if we slice him, so there he is with his adorable little Santa hat. This little, it has a floating region warning because of these hats over here that are not flat. They're just floating there. But this guy is great so we can see his color. And then if we switch over here to line type, we can look through the layers and make sure he doesn't have any wacky, um, you know, floating things. Whoops. Where that hat connects to his head. Uh, no overhang issues. So, and then we can take these and do the same thing with these guys, just as easy. So, we're gonna control select both of these, merge, select this plate, go over to the right of your panel, select just the Santa hat, move this guy over to where you want. Make him a little bigger for this, for the manta ray, because you know he's got that big flat head. He can handle it. And then you can see, make sure it is intersecting into that guy. Maybe raise it up a little bit. And then now he has his own very own Santa hat. And a panda bear, same thing. Merge. Santa hat. Push him over here. And see this guy, since he has ears, you can just do however you want for him. You have a couple different options. You could make it really big and then kind of thin it out. 
so it goes over his ears. And up a little bit like that. So it kind of goes over his ears. Or my personal preference is I kind of like doing um like in between the ears. So, you know, just imagine the ears are pressing into the fluff of this hat and it's kind of settling into there. Like that. And I think that looks really cute. So yeah, you kind of have your own, op your own options of how you want to place these little hats and play with them and make all your little guys look cute. So y'all have permission with this model for my subscribers to go in and add this guy to any of the little flexi models, decor models, anything that you would like to add some little Christmas spirit to. So hopefully y'all enjoy this kind of thing. Let me know if y'all like this type of model that kind of helps you, lets you edit and modify multiple different models with different little decorations and things. Because this way, you know, I can give y'all something Christmassy to work with, but I don't have to pick, like y'all want, you can have all of them as Christmas. You know, I don't have to pick just a couple. And the people who don't want Christmas don't have to get a bunch of extra Christmas hat releases, you know. So let me know if this works out for y'all and what y'all think. And I appreciate y'all and I'll talk to you later. Bye.